Hey everyone, Techno Mentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and activate your iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, or the newer iPhone if you're doing it for the very first time. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and open up our iPhone here. So we'll go ahead and take it out of the box here. Um, now, if you do need to charge it, make sure it's charged up. If it's your very first time, sometimes it does need to be charged. And once you have it, we're going to go ahead and power it on. In order to power on, all you do is hold down this side button that's on the side here until you see the Apple logo up here. So press and hold, takes about a few seconds, and then it should go ahead and power on just like that. So we're going to wait for it to power on before we can do the next steps here. Awesome. So once we got it turned on, you'll see a hello screen. You're going to simply take your finger, swipe up, and go ahead and select a language. So we're going to select my language here and then select your country and region. And then you have the option for customizing the appearance from the default to medium or larger text font and size. So I'll just keep it as is, but it's an option for you. And then if you're setting up with another phone, you can bring it close to set it up. If you don't have it, you can just go ahead and set up without it. And the very first thing you need to do is go ahead and connect to the internet here. So I'm gonna to connect to the Wi-Fi here. So tap on your Wi-Fi and go ahead and enter your password. Once you enter your password, just hit join here to log into your network. It says it will take a few minutes to activate, but generally this is pretty quick. Now, once you see the data and privacy, you're going to hit continue here. And then if you want to set it up for your child, you can, but I'll set up for myself here. Face ID, if you want to use it to unlock your phone, make uh, purchases, or even use Apple Pay and other services, you need to set up Face ID, or you can always set it up later. Basically, it will scan your face to do those unlocking. So we're going to go ahead and set up later here. Passcode, you have the option to do a six-digit uh, numeric code or a four-digit or alphanumeric, whatever preference you put. I'm just going to keep it simple by making a simple demo one here. Of course, do not use this. This is just... A demo of how to go ahead and enter that so once you enter that it's gonna go ahead and set up your lock now comes the important part which is if you're transferring your data over from another device whether it's an iPhone or Android phone you can select each of the options that's applicable for you You can also do it from an iCloud backup that is if you're bringing your data over if not you can simply choose to do a clean slate where you don't transfer anything so if you select one of these it will be different for you just follow along with the process I'm going to set up as like if it's just completely new and then Apple ID account. So basically Apple account allows you to download apps, use Apple services. You'll need one. It's free to create one if you don't have one. Generally, if you have a previous one, you'll use that one. If you don't, you can select this option to create a new one. Or if you forgot your password, you can reset it. And we can always come back later in the settings to set it up. Again, you want to sign in no matter what even if it's later. I'm just going to do it later just to make it easy for us. Then terms and condition, you just hit agree. And then if you want to automatically update your phone, you just hit continue. iMessage and FaceTime, those are Apple services. We're just going to hit continue here. Location services, you will want that on in order to use maps and other uh, services like Find My. So I usually leave it on here. And then if you're going to be moving your transferring over your cellular, you will be having the option to do that. Now, in order to do that, there's two different really ways to do it. You can bring your device that you have and you can transfer it. So if you select this one, it'll pop up where you can transfer your phone number over. Really simple and easy to do as long as you have iOS 16 or later and Bluetooth on. Now, if you don't want to use that option, there's also the QR code. So if you have a QR code, you can scan the QR code on the back. It'll grab it. Or if you have the details, this information, which is provided from your carrier, you can enter that as well. So you can want to do any of this to set up cellular. Now, if you don't want to use cellular or you're going to set up later, you can always tap this option to skip this process. And then screen time and fade. Screen time basically allows you to give you a report. So we're just going to hit continue. iPhone analytics, if you want to share to improve Apple's product, I usually choose not to, but up to you. Dark light versus the preference that you want or auto for your daylight and nighttime. So select what option. I'll keep it as is. And then... Apple Intelligence, so with the iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, you have Apple Intelligence enable, allowing you to do certain things here. It just gives you an idea what it can do. So we'll hit continue. And then action button, which is this one. By default, it's going to be used for silent, ring or on and off. You can have the ability to customize it to any of these other options. So it will do another action besides that. I'll just leave it as is. 
Siri, you would want to start up Siri if you're going to use Siri. So all you do is hit continue, select the voice, the and then the go, go through these commands. I'm just going to set up later. And then if you want to improve uh, Siri dictation, uh, you can select to share the audio. I simply choose not to. Personal preference. Now, emergency SOS, really important feature on the iPhone that allows your phone to automatically call emergency services in terms of if it detects a crash or any of these other features like emergency SOS, satellite messaging. Cool features, I'll just hit continue because they already come with the phone. You can see, welcome to iPhone, we're ready to go. We can swipe up and we are ready to start using it. Now, keep in mind, if you didn't set up cellular, you would want to do that. And if you haven't set up or go ahead and sign into your Apple account, if you didn't, or create one by following the prompt, same exact process if you don't have one, or cellular, which is gonna be right here, so you can set up cellular, the same exact menu. But once you set that up, you're pretty much good to go. You can go ahead and download apps from the App Store and start using your iPhone. And that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.